Welcome to 10 Degrees in 90 Seconds, where we wonder what would happen if a Texas Highway Patrolman took a radar gun to Jared Weaver's fastball and realized that he couldn't arrest it for speeding. Yes, it's true, the Los Angeles Angels ace, and we use that word rather lightly these days, is averaging a hair over 83 miles per hour on his fastball. It's the slowest fastball speed from a right-handed starter this decade, a throwback to a time where velocity wasn't king. His drop this season isn't as profound as Tim Lincecum, who rarely hits 90 anymore, or Mark Melanson, who's lost nearly five miles on his fastball, but it's enough to cause worries. Justin Masterson has seen what a loss of velocity can do. Same with Koji Wehara. He's now pitching backward permanently, using his split finger fastball like a primary pitch and juicing up the fastball about a quarter of the time. He's not blessed with the raw stuff of Danny Salazar, who's gained two and a half miles on his fastball since last April, or Mike Pelfrey, who's just shy of that because he's finally healthy. Same goes for Chris Young, whose removal of a rib created life in the form of three extra miles per hour on his fastball. Velocity isn't everything. Even as theirs is diminished, Jordan Zimmerman and Doug Fister will cash in via free agency. Though perhaps not as much as they would have. The same issue that leaves Jared Weaver in limbo. He's a free agent after next season, and finding a market for a right-hander in the low 80s is trying. Velocity almost never comes back, and in the velo era, you'd better be Greg Maddox 2.0, or it's just not going to work. For Yahoo Sports, this is Jeff Passan, and we'll be back next week with 10 Degrees in 90 Seconds.